The central processing unit. Think of the CPU as the brain of a computer. The CPU is the component that is responsible for executing instructions, performing calculations, and managing data throughout the computer system. The CPU's performance greatly influences the overall speed and responsiveness of the computer. Let's go over a few things you should know about the CPU for a better understanding of how it works. The CPU fetches, decodes, and executes instructions from programs and applications, performing a wide range of tasks. It performs mathematical calculations and makes logical decisions necessary for various computations. It also manages data storage and movement between different memory locations. Modern CPUs can have multiple cores, such as dual-core, quad-core, hexa-core, octa-core, and beyond. A CPU core is an independent processing unit capable of executing instructions. Each core can handle multiple threads, allowing the CPU to work on multiple tasks simultaneously. CPUs run at a particular clock speed. Clock speed is measured in gigahertz which indicates how many cycles the CPU can perform in a second. Higher clock speeds generally result in better performance. However, comparing clock speeds across different CPU architectures might not accurately reflect their actual performance. With that being said, a higher performance can be achieved through a process called overclocking. Although this can lead to improved performance, it can also result in increased heat and reduced stability. You should not attempt this process unless you know exactly what you're doing. If done improperly, your entire PC could suffer serious damage that cannot be undone. CPUs have different levels of cache memory, L1, L2, L3, which store frequently used data for quick access. Cache memory helps reduce the need to access slower main memory, improving overall processing speed. The microarchitecture will give you a clear picture of how a particular CPU works. It will include things like pipeline length, layout as well as the number and sizes of caches. Different manufacturers such as Intel or AMD design CPUs with varying microarchitectures. It is also extremely important you know the correct socket your CPU uses. CPUs are designed to fit specific CPU socket types on motherboards. It's important to ensure the CPU you choose is compatible with your motherboard socket. Here are a few quick notes to keep in mind when considering what CPU to use. Some CPUs come with integrated graphics processing units which handle graphics tasks without the need for a separate graphics card. Multi-threading allows a single core to handle multiple threads simultaneously, enhancing multitasking performance. Hyper-threading and simultaneous multi-threading enable a single core to handle two threads, improving overall efficiency. When choosing a CPU consider factors such as your computing needs whether it be for gaming, content creation, office tasks, music or video editing etc. Then consider how much money you can spare. After you decide how much you can afford, do some research on motherboard compatibility to figure out if the CPU will fit in your motherboard socket. Then lastly, look at the overall balance between clock speed, core count, and cache size. Regardless of what CPU you choose, it is crucial that you have an adequate cooling solution to prevent overheating and maintain optimal performance. The CPU is a critical component that significantly impacts the performance and capabilities of your computer. Choose the one that will be most beneficial to your specific needs. This concludes Lesson 3. Please continue on to the next lesson and thanks for watching.